just in case anybody's wondering, we recycle our bags all the time in Arizona and every single grocery store has a recycled plastic bag here, folks. Okay, so I'm gonna do an experiment today and I'm gonna use Bang and I'm gonna make myself some Bang Keto Jello. <laughs> no way. I will show it to you if it works out. See how many ounces this is this? 16, so that's two cups. That's Michelle. perfect. Um, this rainbow unicorn, whatever, whatever flavor rainbow unicorn tastes like. Yeah. And cherry blade lemonade. So I'll try it. I've got four of them. 16 fluid ounces. And I will go back to the kitchen and start brewing it up. How's that sound? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So, I thought I would try to do something crazy and try to make some bang jello. So, the reason why I thought I would do bang jello today is because a lot of you drink bang and you're on keto and I guess it's an energy drink. I've never tried one myself. I looked at, it's got some vitamins in it. It's got all kinds of things in it. And I, it's got ultra CoQ10. This flavor is birthday cake bash. And I see people like Keto Chaos Tammy drinking this. I see several of you drinking this out there. So I thought, let's give it a try, right? The worst could, that could happen is it could explode, blow up, bubble over. Anyway, let's get started and see. So I bought the Zint gelatin, it's grass-fed beef. Um, for this, I'm gonna make 16 ounces. This bowl will be perfect for that, I hope. And you need to put one tablespoon to every 16 ounces of liquid. And you need to bloom this, B-L-O-O-M, the gelatin. And that means you take regular tap water, room temperature, put a little bit in your bowl, and stir it until the gelatin has a chance to bloom and pull in some water and thicken up just a little bit. So I want this to make sure this is gonna bloom. And hopefully, my science experiment with Bang doesn't explode this. I just vaguely recall when I was little making root beer jello. So, my mom did for a party, I think. So, I don't know what the carbonation is going to do to this or anything, but I'm going to, this is room temperature. It's not hot, and normally with jello, you use hot. So, I'm going to try this. And this is the birthday cake bash. I'm going to add just a little bit to begin with just to see what this does, how it reacts. So far so good. It doesn't explode. Mix in my collagen. The trick is I think with it, ooh, it's kind of making it foamy, creamy. I'm just going to put a little bit in at a time. See how this does. Ooh, it smells just like vanilla birthday cake. So that's going to be interesting. And since this is kind of a beige color and it's birthday cake and my favorite color as a kid was blue frosting, I thought I would take some of this uh, Simple Truth, um, I believe it's organic food dye. And I'm going to put a little bit of blue in here just to turn up just a little bit blue. Maybe three drops just to see what color that turns it. Ah. 
maybe a little bit more. It's, I think that the color of the collagen being beige makes this look just a little bit murky blue, but let's keep going with this. It's got a lot of foam, so don't hurry too much with it. And all the collagen melted. Oh man, this is going to be good. Here, taste this. Come here. Seriously. Taste this. Oh my god. Tastes like That's a like birthday cake. Birthday cake. Birthday cake. Jello. You know the, 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 one, the, the one that had strawberry in the yes, side of it. Yes. Yes. Okay. So this one's gonna be. Oh. I'm gonna sit this one over to the side, and we're gonna do the same thing with. What flavor should we do? I've got, got? pina colada, cherry blade lemonade, and rainbow unicorn. I don't even know what rainbow. I want to do the cherry. I want to do, yeah, do the cherry. cherry blade lemonade. Bang. Cherry blade lemonade. Bang. I'm excited now. I mean, folks, that already tastes good. So if that gelatin doesn't interact with what's inside, oops, I got the wrong stuff. Got the swerve. If that doesn't interact, it's going to be awesome. And the thing about having jello is the, the gelatin gives me a fuller feel, feeling. And I agree with you. I think I need to put just a little bit of the hot water, maybe. Yeah. It says to use regular, but I'm just going to put a little bit of hot water in there to bloom it. Mm, this one didn't bloom the same way. That's not good. It's the flavor bang we're going to be using, and I hope it doesn't do something different than the other one did. I'm going to put pour it in halfway and see if now the collagen in this one looks pretty good because we put a little bit of hot water. It's hot water, not boiling water, in here, and it's cherry lemonade. What smells good? The bang. Thank God. <laughs> Five, six. I used six in the other, so I'm using six in this one. And, oh, yeah, that's a pretty color. It made it kind of a pink, which is perfect. What do you do is. You want to stuff your hair? Yes, but smell this. It's lemonade. Is it? It's pink. It looks, smells like pink lemonade to me, folks. Thank God. And it looks like pink lemonade. Okay. It's pretty foamy. Taste. Okay. Here. Wait a minute. Taste this. You're weird taste. Oh, that's got a neat taste to it. It's kind of. Mm. Yeah. I like that. Kind of cola y. Yeah. Cherry y lemony. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Really a neat flavor. Wow. Okay. It tastes good. Yeah. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That tastes really good. Okay. So that one is... Okay, so now we're going to make bang number three, piña colada, folks. I wonder if I should put a little cream in this. Give it that creamy colada taste, or should I leave it plain? What do you think? I think we'll leave room, and I think this time I'm going to bloom it the way it says. So there's room for... I didn't like the way that it didn't bloom correctly with the with this bang. So I'm going to put just a little bit 
of regular tap water in just enough to let it get it to bloom. Bloom is just let it become gelatin. And it says just give enough so that it can bloom. Which I, and then I'm going to put a little bit of, just a teeny bit of hot water in the bottom just to get the collagen to break up a little bit. So I don't want lumps in the collagen, but let me tell you guys, when you put the hot water on plain gelatin, it's definitely got a bovine smell to it. But that bang just took the smell right out, so I'm just getting this all melted because you're supposed to use pure hot liquids and we don't have any. The bang is room temperature. Well, we did in the blue, so that's one experiment. So this experiment was we let it bloom, we put it in cold bang, we put it in the microwave to get the pieces of collagen. This collagen melted now, see? It's totally melted. I don't know if you can see that. It's beige and melted. See? Now we're going to put pina colada. Bang. Ooh, pineapple-y. Oh yeah, this has got to be yellow. Let me get some of that in here. Six drops. I've been using six drops of the coloring. Just to give it something other than that beige color. Oh yeah, that'll be a nice pale yellow. Let's pour the rest of the bang in. Should we put these in the refrigerator right away or not? I'm letting, I'm trying to let the foam go down on them. I'm going to pull all my stuff over. This is the pina colada bang, folks. taste test this. Now let me see this. Does this have any? This looks like it all melted. So that was, I think this was the best way to do it. You let it bloom with a little bit of tepid room water. Mash it all up. Then put just a little bit of hot water, just a little bit, just to get it all melted down. And then put your bang in it, folks. And your food coloring. I think it gave it the best consistency. Here, honey. Try this. This pina colada. Tastes like a pina colada. Very pineapple-y, huh? Yeah, I like that. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, man. That good? You, you could got... make some coconut whipped cream to put on top of this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right good. now, I can't... I'm going to be a purist with these right now, but oh my God, my brain is just going crazy. You could add some cream cheese in here, stir it up. Oh. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, that one is the pina colada. So there's my flavor, folks. So anyway, folks, these are my jellos. These are going to go in the refrigerator to firm up and let that gelatin get a jello consistency. And this is my bang jello experiment. And we will show you the finished product and have a taste test. Later today when this is all nice and cooled off and firmed up. See you guys in a minute. Hello everyone. I am excited because those of you who drink Bang for energy and are keto, and those of you who like Jell-O now can have both. And I'm really excited because I'm on a liquid diet and I am looking for things. I've been on it now for six days and I'm looking for something to chew or to give me more fulling and I'm thinking jello. Let's make some jello. I was at the market and I saw the bang and I thought, what if you can combine bang and make it into jello? 
then I can get energy and I can feel full and I can have something to chew and it can still be considered liquid. Anyway, that's what we did and so far, everything looks good. It's jello. 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 So, I want to recap real quick. All I used was one tablespoon, one level tablespoon of gelatin. I put it in the bowl. I added just enough tepid water to get it to bloom, which means get it to uh, coagulate and turn into gelatin. And then I did a few different things um, to each one of these. So uh, the, the first one is birthday cake bash. It looks absolutely beautiful. I don't see, it's clear, I don't see any lumpy, lumpy gelatin globulars. This one, we didn't use any hot water, but when we started filling it up, the gelatin kind of had bits and pieces, so I nuked it for 30 seconds and then uh, stirred it really well. So that worked out really well. That worked out really well. That looks neat. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. I put exactly six drops of the blue food coloring into it, and I'm using the Simple Truth food color, and I'm also using the Zint grass-fed beef gelatin, and I'll have links for both of those. You can get them on Amazon. Both of these are linked below, so please go there and order yourself some. I then did the Bang Cherry Blade Lemonade, and this one has a little bit more bubbles, I'm thinking, at the top. Kind of puffed bubbles. There's some bubbles in the bowl you can see here, effervescent. Maybe carbonation caught in the gelatin. This one, I, um, what did I do to this one? I put a teaspoon, I mean, I put a tablespoon, I bloomed it, and um, added that, added the bang to that, added six drops of red. That I know it looks pretty like uh, pink lemonade, but I only ordered, I only put in six drops of red food coloring to this. And then the last one is the Pino Colada Bang. And again, I used one tablespoon, bloomed the gelatin. I did put a little bit of hot water in and got the gelatin uh, totally dissolved and then added the bang. And this one's got more bubbles on the top, if you can see it, but there's a little bit of carbonation, a little bit. So as far as the bubbles are concerned, the one that I nuked, for 30 seconds, um, which is the birthday cake bash one, doesn't have any of those carbonation bubbles, but I don't think they hurt anything. I don't think they're gonna bother anything, but this is the one that I just put a little bit of the hot water in the gel and then stirred it up, and it's got the most bubbles, but it could be just the difference in the bang. This one I put in six drops of yellow food coloring. So. One tablespoon, one level tablespoon of the gelatin. Poured just enough tepid water in the bowl to bloom and dissolve and gelatize the gelatin. Then I added just a little bit of hot water to mix them and get that gelatin dissolved and then I put in the bang. You don't want to use too much water because you don't want it to um, dilute the flavoring. So this one is the one that I nuked for a few seconds and didn't use any hot water in. I think I used a little hot water in this one and a little hot water, but you can see that in the beginning of the film. So now's the taste test. So let's scoop up some of the blue. Take a look at this. 
and you guys can put it in a different pan to where your um, you can cut it into squares. Ooh, it looks like ice. Look at that. What a pretty color. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Ice blue jello. Isn't that beautiful? Ice blue birthday cake bash jello. So now for the taste test. I've never had a bang in my life. So when I open these up, the smell, you guys, this smells just like birthday cake, vanilla birthday cake. You could make some sugar-free Cool Whip. You could make some flavored sugar-free whipped cream. You could make some cream cheese to put on this or even in this. You know, when I was growing up, they did all kinds of jello molds. I mean, they made some that had blueberries or strawberries, and they whipped Philadelphia cream cheese and put it in there. So the sky's the limit with this, but you get the benefits of what's in the bang with these. More bang for your buck. So let's taste this one. <laughs> oh my gosh, Harry, this tastes just like birthday cake. Jello style. Come over here. Look at that. And it's so it pretty. Is, it is Isn't like, it ice blue? That is like totally it's different. Beautiful man. color. It'd be great for like New Year's or something like that. It would be, wouldn't it? Oh. Oh my God. It, it smells just like birthday cake. It does smell just like you. If somebody put this under your nose, you're blindfolded. So for me, really because cute. I'm on the special limited diet. Just like birthday cake. It's, isn't it's it? like, isn't it kind of like the vanilla birthday cake? I mean, seriously. That is good. So. That is weird. But good? Yeah. Well, weird, how? Well, it's just because you don't expect jello. Well, you're used to. The taste like You're used that. to lemon, orange, cherry jello and yeah. lime. And this is like totally different, but it tastes just like it, it says. It tastes oh, just yeah. like birthday cake. Fabulous, and it's such a pretty color. I know, and somebody, somebody who's artistic could take that and put oh, lights all around the bottom of it. Oh, you could do so many things stuff. with this. Sure. Let me tell you, and keep it keto. You know what? Your kids eating this because it does have all of the um, ingredients great. in the bang. This is adult Jello, folks. Adult Jello. You could put these in uh, molds, little molds. Great for parties. You know, for parties. Yeah. Bang Keep shots without the vodka. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to try the Cherry Blade, or you can add vodka. We're going to try Cherry Blade Lemonade. It's this beautiful rosé color. It's rosé pink. It's totally set up. Look at that. Look at the colors on these. Aren't these beautiful? Yeah, beautiful Champagne color. color. Oh, look at that. Just lovely. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look at the way the light hits that. Let's see. Keep going. Okay. Now, I chose this one because I love everything lemonade, cherry lemonade, strawberry lemonade, all those things. And trust me, I'm on day six of pure liquid diet, so I'm like craving anything but chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla shakes. So... And I am highly allergic to aspartame, so I can't just go buy a box of Jello off the shelf because that's what it's made from. So these the bangs do have sucralose. So um, those of you who can't have sucralose, I don't know. You might want to give this a try, see if it kicks you. But uh, right now, the way these smell, the way they look, just aesthetically pleasing. How pretty that is! You could put a drop of. The red, just one drop in whipped cream and make pink fluffy whipped cream for this. Oh, yeah, okay, taste test. I'm making myself hungry. Oh my gosh, it tastes just like it smelled. I mean, it's banging jello. It is banging jello. Let me see some of that. It is, isn't that pretty? Look at that. Smell that. Oh, you know, oh, you know, that's, you know what that reminds me of? What? It's like something you'd have at some 
some girls that have it a frilly tea party or something. No, yeah. You know like a I mean? baby shower or oh, something. Yeah, a baby shower. Right? If everybody could drink something oh that had everything God. that Bang has in it, you know, because Bang has all the vitamins. It's got it's some outrageous. potassium and everything else. You have to read your labels, but isn't that delicious? Whoa, they even taste really good. I mean, seriously. It's it's Bang and Jello. Oh, it's weird. I'm serious, folks. You got to do this. You got to try this. It is the easiest thing in the world. Isn't that good? I'm serious. God, I love the smell. Okay, so next is <laughs> pina colada. And I'm telling you right now, this had that pina pineapple-y smell. I know you guys can frou-frou this up so easy with Cool Whip. If you guys can have sugar-free Cool Whip, sugar-free whipped cream, you guys are going to take this and run with it. I know you are because I'm telling you, you guys got to try it. You have to try this. Oh, my gosh. Probably would work with other energy drinks that you like flavor-wise, the Sour Blasts, things like that, the Purple Crush. I just picked the ones that I particularly like flavor wise so I used the lemon and actually the way this crystallized on top makes it look like little sparkly diamonds it's actually very mm -hmm. pretty it's really pretty with the bubbles the bubbles look like crystalline sugar or or little diamonds on there look at this look at it through the glass isn't that pretty so really the bubbles don't hurt the aesthetics of the actual jello and when I was smelling this, that pina colada smell, again, you guys could flavor some whipped cream, some Cool Whip. I'm telling you, you don't let the kids, the kids are going to see this color in your refrigerator and they're going to want to taste it too. So you got to be careful with well, that. Because they're energy drinks. It's an energy drink, yeah. Mm, it smells just like pina colada. Mmm. This one has effervescence still in it. That is really cool. It has an effervescent taste to it. Does it? Still, yeah. Those bubbles must have caught the carbonation. Oh, wow. Doesn't that smell like Yeah, all this stuff smells really cool. It mm. does. But I think, to try one with the bubbles in the top. That's it. it. That's it. Really? Yeah. Can see them right here? Wow. On the whole front. Isn't it effervescent? Yeah, that's weird, huh? Yeah. Okay, this is really weird. It's really good. You gotta try this just to try it. Isn't that good? Buy a can and. Isn't that good? Can and all you, I mean, all you used was a one can of this, one some of that, and water, and water, a little and bit of water, and, and food coloring. And I only put, it? yep. Isn't that delicious? Oh, that is really. So to me, the reason why this one has more effervescence are the bubbles in it. The carbonation got trapped. You know this one, right? Right. The blue one, the blue one, I think has the least amount in it if you look at it. And that's because I nuked it for 30 seconds. So this one doesn't have as much carbonation in it. And this one's medium road, you know, but this one is so pretty. This one is so pretty. Yeah, which that's one? A, that's beautiful. Which one do you like the? Oh, the blue. I think blue. I think that one. You like the flavor of this I one? I like the flavor of that. I think. Let me try another taste of that. I like. I really. I never thought I would say this, folks, but the birthday cake bash. This. Because this is, you know what this reminds me. It's like I don't know how to explain it. What? They got to try this one. Well, they have to try all. This of is this. like or use your favorite champagne flavor. or something. Mm -hmm, to me. Mm -hmm. It's like champagne. I, that's what I'm trying to think of. Champagne. It's really... I like this birthday cake. I've never wow. had the birthday cake. And for me right now, anything that tastes like cake mm -hmm. that I can kind of chew yeah. is all right by me. Well, you like the blue? Oh, yeah. Well, I like them all. I like them all. But it, it'd be like this for me. One, two, and three. This would be one, two, three. Yeah. Because I love lemonade. Oh, my God. I love the pink. Throw some... Cool Whip, some whipped cream on this. That's the weirdest thing. It's so good, you guys. Anyway, Just, we're going to be sitting here eating our Bang Jello, and I hope you all go buy some Bang, get yourself some gelatin, and give it a try, because I'm telling you, ladies, it is 
awesome. Check the bottom. I've got a link for the Zint. I've got a link for the food coloring. And I've got, do we have a link for the bang? I think you can get it on Amazon through our link. Uh, we, I think put a link get, down there that they can get it. Anyway, it's absolutely awesome. This is the first time I've ever had Bang. I've never even drank one, but I saw them at our store. They were on sale two for four dollars, so I thought I would give it a try. And this is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Absolutely beautiful. And tastes just like Bang. Bang in a bowl. Jello, folks. If you squared those up, even just gooped up like this. Aren't those pretty? They look like, here you go. Here's some, here's some uh, sky blue topaz, right? There's some pink topaz. There's yellow diamond right there, folks, or citrine right there. Seriously, for a baby shower or something. Aren't those pretty? Look at this on white. Anything to say? Nope. It's beautiful colors. It's absolutely on the beautiful. white looks really good. You know? Yeah, it's really pretty. If you like what you see, please like, subscribe, hit the bell. Let me know what else you guys would like to see. Cheers. Mm. This one is effervescent. Can I have all of that one? Yeah. No, the whole thing? Yeah. Okay, but it's 5 o'clock. You won't go to sleep.